I went to a student encampment at MIT this weekend and when I tell you Zionists are just bizarre creatures because why do you have this memorial slash graveyard thing going on right outside of the Palestine encampment? I think that if Gaza was to do a graveyard in Massachusetts, we would fail all of Massachusetts. The first time I saw this, this is what I was thinking. I was like, it's impossible to even think of us trying to put the faces of everyone that died. 34,000 people, how many lawns is that gonna fill? And also like, there's a lot of even unidentified people that we couldn't know because they're under the rubble or they're below one yeah. year old, so. Exactly. The encampment also had this beautiful community garden, lots of tents everywhere. Students have literally been sleeping there for about two weeks out in the cold in Boston. They also had this school section, which is an art station. You can make posters and paintings. So you go to MIT. Why are our students from MIT out here at the encampment today? Yeah, so we're at the encampment here. This is our 13th day. We are protesting our right to have our administration and our school end ties to the Israeli Ministry of Defense. Unlike other universities, we actually have five existing contracts with the Israeli Ministry of Defense. Some of them actually create killer drones in killer drone swarms. So we feel we have a responsibility to have our admin listen to us and end those ties. Um, and they, we've been on the negotiating table, but they won't budge. So that's uh, been a difficult point for us, but we will stay out here until those ties are cut. Um, but something to keep in mind is today's counter protest was um, co-sponsored by the Israeli consulate oh. and also supported by the same uh, sponsors and people that actually initiated the UC UCLA riots. So there is potential for that kind of violence, but you know, we handle things pretty well and we've always been peaceful um, and uh, yeah. So they're pretty organized with that BS. Like it's across, <laughs> it's like across states. It's like the same yes, organizers. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's a nationwide effort to suppress students and to also make sure that we um, are, you know, they're sticking the cops on us too. Ed, you're not a student. What brings you out here today at MIT? Yeah, so I live in the Boston area and I'm very in involved in uh, supporting Palestine and I wanted to make sure that I showed up for the student encampments because I think that they are some of the most visible um, demonstrations that we have where the world can see. You got this Alejandro, you're so good at it. Okay. It's not my fault that you're pressured. It's not me, I swear. <laughs> Do you feel deterred by the threats that MIT is giving students or any potential police violence or interactions? Uh, not really. I see those threats in some way as a weakness in part of the university. The university doesn't have the moral ground to justify what it's doing, so it ends up trying to go towards the route of violence and to push students to conform to what they want instead of hitting to their needs. Where are you from? We got a Puerto, good Rico. Puerto Rico. Well, ask him, ask him okay. why it's important as a okay. Puerto Rican okay. to, to be here. Okay. Uh, as a Puerto Rican, we understand what it means to live under a colonial regime. We've been colonized, well, first by Spain and then by the United States. We've been a colony for 500 years. So we deeply understand the, the fight that the Palestinians have in their own homeland, it, by their own like colonial regime that's also tied to the United States. Like it's, all these struggles are interconnected and we can't, we can't hope for the liberation of one people without the liberation of all peoples. Wow, wow. You did amazing. <laughs> Why were you pushing back? I'm <laughs> sorry. Are you sleeping? Wait, are you sleeping yeah. in the tent? I have like the black. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Salma, Salma, Salma. Ask him yeah. because he's sleeping in the tents. Ask oh, him you're about sleeping him. in the tents too? Yeah. That's why. Okay. <laughs> How many days have you been sleeping in the tents? Uh, I've been sleeping here for 10 days ever since we set up our camp uh, Sunday of the week before this week. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it's it's not that bad. Like, kind of, you kind of used to it. And in some ways, um, even. Like it, there's cold, there's rain and whatever, but even if it's like kind of uncomfortable for us, it's, it's nothing compared to what the Palestinians are going through and it's a risk we're all here willing to take for, for our fight. Thank you so much. How do like your family or friends feel about you coming to the encampments? Do you have any pushback from people that are in your circle at all? Okay, so this is a complicated question. So I um, am an anti-Zionist Jew um, and my family is unfortunately very Zionist, um, so it depends on who you ask. When it comes to my mother's side of the family, that is Jewish and very Zionist. 
Um, they are not happy with my stances and we are not on speaking terms. And there's also people in my family and sort of like family friends and people who I'm close to on that side of the family who um, I've decided to, on my own terms, to sort of um, maintain space from. Um, and I don't know if I'm ever, I, I don't know when the time is going to be when we can reconnect, if ever. Um, so that's just something where I'm just living in the moment. I'm not thinking about that right now. It's their problem if they want to be bigoted and on the wrong side of history, so to speak. That's them. Thank you. Yeah, so of course. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Uh -huh. Yeah.